Hi, I'm Kate Hahn with TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider, and we are speaking with the cast of A Small Light on National Geographic. Oh my God, we're too late. The checkpoint is open. I know, because you told me not to bring it. And you told me to take off my coat. And Mother. if they see I'm not wearing my star, they're, they're going to arrest Mother, me. Mother, stop it and listen to me, okay? No, 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 don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Okay? Belle Pell, you star as Meep Geese. Uh, tell us about her. She's a fascinating young woman. And tell us how her story relates to the title, A Small Light. Well, I mean, the title comes from something she said. She said anyone, even an ordinary secretary, housewife, or teenager can turn on a small light in a dark room. And she was very adamant that she never be called a hero. Meep Geese um, was Otto Frank's secretary since 1933. And in 1942, after the war broke out and um, Holland, where they were living, had been occupied by the Nazis, Otto Frank, her boss, asked if she would help hide his family in the secret annex along with four other Jews. And she immediately just said yes. Um, but she was just an ordinary person who did an extraordinary thing um, and in that way she's an incredibly relatable character she was just like any other young woman well Liv Schreiber you play Otto Frank mm. and there's a wonderful scene where he asks Meep his secretary who is young inexperienced he knows he's asking her something really difficult will you hide my family can you talk about shooting that scene and what your character is going through in it well, I think uh, you know Otto is somebody who's really meticulous in the planning and um, I think he's aware of the risks that are involved for Meep, and I, I think in that scene he's, he's uh, really touched by, by the readiness of Meep. Um, I think, you know, uh, so many of us know this story, but we, we know it from the book, from, from Anne's uh, diaries. Um, and this is a very, very different story. This is, uh, this is the story of the woman and her husband, uh, Jan, who, um, who basically fed, protected, and sheltered this family for two years. So um, this was uh, somebody that Otto was very, 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 very close to and eternally grateful to. They actually lived together for seven years after... Um, after his, uh, after his family passed away in the camps. Well, let's talk about Jan a little bit. He, uh, he actually joins the resistance. Um, so how, how does this whole living during this terrible time and seeing all these horrific things, how does that affect him as a young man trying to get started in life and, and have a marriage that's successful? I mean, I feel like people in this generation uh, living through this uh, time in history were cut from a different cloth in some ways, um, they just got on with it. Um, and particularly these people, um, Jan and Meep, um, they represent um, a portion of society that were doing the unthinkable um, and risking their lives every single day to, to save um, as many Jewish people as they could. Um, but in this story, we are also meeting a young couple falling in love, um, their ex escapades in Amsterdam um, as the na Nazi o occupation gets worse and worse, and and it's uh, it's an interesting counterbalance. There's a, there's an interesting sort of dynamic and an antithesis between the two the two worlds we're in. Um, you know, one minute you might be laughing along watching these two people fall in love, and then the next minute something else heartbreaking happens and I think that's the beauty of the way they've captured uh, this story the uh, our writers um, they've done it in a way that feels quite relatable and hopefully you know you know you, you're not necessarily just being bashed over the head with 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 sort of um, facts from from World War two it's actually you know hopefully you can relate to these characters and enjoy their journey and enjoy hanging out with these characters that's what that's what we wanted to do like create an environment you you want to be around these people and you want to see them succeed and obviously they don't you know and leave what kind of man was Otto Frank I mean he's a very successful businessman but what else can you tell us about him and what research did you do to find out about him well uh Four of the co-founders of Blue Check are actually members of the Anne Frank House, so I had access to a lot of stuff. Um, one of the things that I 
found particularly compelling was the stuff that Otto didn't want in Anne's diary and the stuff that he took out of it. Um, uh, the, the, some of the normal human stuff, like uh, the, the struggles that he was going on in his marriage, um, which just helps you as an actor have some background. It's not in the story at all, but that you know that when you're working in that room and there's eight people in that room and you're all stuck together and you have to compartmentalize and sort of find your, uh, find your personal space, mm -hmm. living like that for two years in a loft. Um, I think he was a man who was quite frustrated and saddened by the definition of Jewish. He wanted to be German, he wanted to be a banker, he wanted to be a tennis player, he wanted to be all these things, but in his mind, as not a particularly religious person, he didn't, hadn't considered being only Jewish. I'll close with this. What, what did you know about the Anne Frank story before you started shooting this, and, and what did you learn uh, over the course of it? I mean, I think, uh, for me, I, I felt like I knew who Anne Frank was, and I felt like I knew this story. We study it uh, at school in the UK, and I think uh, you guys do here. But the reality was, when we, when we started delving into it, I, we, I, I really didn't know anything. Uh, I, I knew the, the, the picture of the little girl that everybody knows, um, but there was so much um, history, um, sort of the overarching themes within the show, and this historical element, um, Every day I felt I was learning, but then on a sort of more human level, just learning about people and kind of superheroes of their time, the, the, these people who were, do, who were very ordinary people doing extraordinary things. And, and just uh, it's a real reminder that no matter who you are, big or small, any you know, rich or poor, um, good, you're having a good day or bad day, everyone can do a little something for someone else. And I think that's just important. It doesn't matter how big it is, but I think everybody can, can do good and everybody can, uh, can be kind. Well, the film is a wonderful example of that, but also a very entertaining story of an individual young woman. So thank you all so much for speaking with me about the show. I'm Kate Hahn with TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider, and we've been speaking with the cast of A Small Light.